Okay, I'm going to show you how to sketch a position time graph given a velocity time graph. I have used these vertical lines to divide each of the segments that I'm going to do from the velocity time graph so that my time axis matches on my position time graph. And the initial position of the object is 0.03. You cannot tell that from the velocity time graph, so you have to know that separately in addition to having the shape of the graph. All right. So the first segment is a diagonal line. You can see I have a number of diagonal lines on this velocity time graph. And to find out how to, well, to see what kind of motion it is, first of all, we have an increasing negative velocity because it's getting faster and faster in the negative direction as the object proceeds, which means the velocity is not constant but increasing. So in other words, it is speeding up in the negative direction speeding up in the negative direction will have a constantly increasing negative slope on position. So we're going to have a curve and the best way to sketch that is by figuring out the displacement of the object during that segment. To find the displacement I'm going to make a triangle. So let me use my straight line tool here to sort of outline the triangle that goes between the function and the x-axis and we're going to find the area of that triangle. So the formula for the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So for this triangle the base is about 1.2 and the height is 0.025, negative 0.025 so it's, it's down here on the axis. And if I put that in the calculator, I get that gives me a value of 0 0.015 negative. So that is the change in position up here. So I'm going to go down 0 0.01, 0 0.015, and then over to the time and put a dot to indicate the where my curve is going to end and I'm increasing in slope in the negative direction which means getting steeper so I'm going to start with a gentle slope and then curve to a steeper slope ending on let me try that again ending on the point right here okay second segment is a little mini triangle here. Go back to my straight line tool. This one is, if I estimate that with a triangle here, I also have to include the rectangle underneath it. So I can find the area of those two shapes right there. And that will be one half the base, looks like it's about 0.2, the height. 0.015 plus, uh, let's see, base 0.015, the height, or the height rather, 0 0.005, 0 .0, yeah, 0.005 right here, that's a zero plus the rectangle has a height of 0.015 and the base would be 0.2 again. Um, these vertical values are both negative. So when we add those together, we get a negative. And all together that is, is point negative 0.008 so let's see, we left, left off here and we're going to end here. I'm going to go down because it's negative, an additional 0 0.008, which is not quite 0 0.1, so maybe right about here. I'll end. Now this time, the object is slowing down in the negative direction, so I'm going to curve it like this. So I'm just going to exaggerate the curve a little bit. Oops. 
gonna curve it like this. So you get rid of that tail there, exaggerate the curve a little bit, and go like this. All right. So first we were curved like this, getting steeper. Now we're curving like this, getting more gentle. I have another triangle, same situation. So let me calculate how far down I need to go. I did one half base times height again, and I got negative 0.006. So this is again slowing down in the positive direction. And I'm going to go over to here, time-wise. So starting where I left off, I'm going to go down an additional 0 0.6, which is about to right here. Same curvature though. I'm going to still be slowing down in the negative direction. Okay, now I'm to this point right here. The really important thing that happens when an object, the line crosses a velocity time graph is it changes direction. This was all going in the negative direction. Now it's going to go in the positive direction. And we have a nice big triangle here to figure out the area of. So let me figure out the area of that triangle. So that's 1 half times 1.6 times 0.02 for base times height. And that equals 0.016. And I'm just doing this triangle right here. So that takes me up to this time. Starting where I left off my position time graph, I am now speeding up in the positive direction. So my slope will getting, be getting steeper like this. And I'm going to go up 0.016. So let's see if I go from here to here, that's 0.01, um, pretty close to right here, over on this line right here. I'm going to put my final point there to guide me. So increasing slope, kind of steep at the end there, should be sort of a steady increase of slope there, um, to this point. Now I'm going back down closer to zero, which means I'm slowing down in the positive direction. And I have another triangle here. So this time I have is 1 half base, which is about 1 second, times height, which is 0 0.02 equals 0 0.01. So from here, I'm going to go up 0 0.01 and at this time period right here. And I'm going to slow down in the positive direction. So get a more gentle slope like that. Then I cross the axis again, which means I have a little horizontal part up here where it's paused. And then I'm going to speed up in the negative direction. So you can see each of these times I'm going to get triangle and then triangle. So let me fast forward through those two. So first this triangle right here will be speeding up in the negative direction and I got 0.03. <clears throat> so starting here and going over to this time segment, I'm going to go down 0.03, well, which takes me all the way down to here. Oops, point. Get my math on that one. Hold on. Oops, that's right. So I'm going to go, I'm at point o, positive 0 0.03 now, so down to zero over to here, and that is speeding up in the negative direction, so getting more steep. Touch my drawing skills here. So I'm going to be increasing in slope. So I come down to here. Then this one was negative 0.004. So still going in the negative direction, just a smidge down, maybe about this far down. This time I am slowing down, coming close to coming closer to zero. So I'm going to go like that. And now I get finally a nice easy segment. This is on zero, which means it's paused. Let me just get rid of that number right there. So it's running into my graph. Uh, which means I'm going to stay at the same position. I'm going to use my straight line tool so you can tell that it's straight. And I'm going to pause up to here where I have 
one more triangle, the last triangle, so I'm going to go like this here, and I get, so that comes out to 0.01, which is literally just a smidge, and that will be speeding up in the positive direction, so like that, so probably not up that high, but I can't draw anything smaller. And then here, I have a constant velocity at the y value of 0.01, positive 0.01, which means I will have a line with a slope of 0.01. So that will be a diagonal line here. That is approximately sloped like this. And that is the position time graph that corresponds to this velocity time graph.